Mac Jones is doing things that veteran quarterbacks aren't doing. And so is he a finished product? Heck no, he's not. But again, of the rookie quarterbacks, this is the guy that is playing the best, is the most prepared, and I think probably has a chance to actually be a playoff on a playoff team. The other guys, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah this is right where they want to be. I mean, four and four right now at a certain point. I mean, this if you when they got rid of Cam Newton in the beginning, I mean, then all of a sudden it's Mac Jones, and if you, and if you told them you're going to be four and four after eight games, they probably would have took it because they knew there were going to be those problems with Mac, with his development. I mean, I don't think they anticipated some of the ball security issues from the running backs, the couple block punts we've talked about in the past, some of the stuff that has to be fixed. But here, I mean, I'm seeing the 2001 reboot here is almost what I'm seeing. I mean, with a Brady coming in, and these plays. I mean, I was on that 0-1 team. These are the plays they ran, taking care of a quarterback, hoping your defense is good enough and your special teams is good enough to buy time for Mac Jones. And that's what I see. I mean, you talked me into that last week. I mean, yes, you told me, wait, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I say, I want to see it now. I want to see it now. And all the New England fans want to see it now. But what they're seeing is that slow build. Which yeah, is what and they you're exactly have. right. Last week in the second half, 13 passes, okay? But he completed 10 of them. They're not asking him to do everything. They're steadily um, bringing him along slowly as they're fixing the rest of the team. Yeah. You know, I look, I look at this team offensively with Josh McDaniels doing a great job. And, Matt, that was a great tape you put up with this young quarterback. But one thing that really stands out to me is the play calling each and every week, just giving him a little bit more on his each – each week, yeah. and I'm just talking about how the design and the scheme of the passing game is going. We all know about the poles. We all know about the deep balls, but I'm just talking about how things mesh up. The timing routes is really what I'm impressed with. But let's flip it to the Carolina Panthers side. There is a guy. You're going to love this one. There was a guy that was once with the New England Patriots, shut down, locked down corner that the Carolina Panthers acquired. Mm -hmm. Number nine last week, sealed the game for the... For number the, nine. Number nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny, I'm yeah. talking about <laughs> Stephon Gilmore that was with the New England Patriots for all the talk, all the good things that's coming out, uh, out of New England offensively with everything that Mac Jones is doing. They have to be careful and understand where a cornerback or a defensive player like Stephon Gilmore is. You're talking about the guy, uh, Trayvon Diggs in, in Dallas and, and what job he's doing, but don't forget about a guy like Stephon Gilmore. Everywhere he's been, he's been locked down. Look out for that. Yeah, that's right. Today. I mean, I was blessed to have him in Buffalo. He was the best player we had by far on that football team. But, and, and it makes a difference, man, having those kind of man cover corners and guys that can, uh, can do it all. So today, Mac Jones has to be on point. The ball has to come out of his hand quickly today because of that pass rush. But that coverage is expected to be tighter. The thing that scares me the most is New England is getting to be that team that you talked about. Golly, I'm sitting back thinking, I, I mean, I was all out on these guys. Ever since Tom Brady walked out, I'm like, I'm completely <laughs> done with this team. That's going to be 10 years since they make the playoff. Uh-oh. And all that money they spent, they went all in in the offseason. And the only one initially that panned out was Judon. Yep. But now we're seeing Hunter Henry pan out. Yes. We're even seeing Aguilar get deep down the field. Different, different guys like that. So, uh-oh, this team is coming together. Mm -hmm. And my goodness, I don't want to say it. I, I don't want to say it. Don't say but it, they're Rex, dangerous. Say it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> to be fair, you were kind of all out on them, even when Tom Brady was there the last couple of years. You, you were waiting for that, that oh. fall off as Ooh, many. That sorry, was, was that inside that accountability? Was <laughs> that was an upward <laughs> cut. <laughs> I, I love you, Rex. I do, I promise. Uh, I will say, for as much as we're, we're talking, speaking well of the Patriots right now, they've had trouble. With the Panthers in the past, they've lost two straight from for the against them. Can I speak? Mm -hmm. And they've also gone three and four. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.